Hello, Bass IP has released the most recent update of the firmware for monitors, and we decided not only to tell about it, but also to show what exactly we added. Quick access to basic settings. We have added menu to the home screen. You can easily get to such sections as intercom settings, system settings, and gallery. Let's talk a little bit about these additions. Most of the settings have been moved to one place, intercom settings, which allows configuring the settings from one menu. Without the need to switch between applications, system settings leads to the system application settings section. The gallery contains the photos of your visitors, quick access to the call menu, viewing of panels and IP cameras. The new buttons on the home screen allow quick access to panels and IP cameras preview. Now, you do not need to make extra clicks to get access to them. There is also the new option of selecting the default IP camera, which will be displayed when you click the shortcut button. You can set it up in the section Intercom Settings, Security Settings, Default IP Camera View, Line. And due to another new feature, you can easily flip through other cameras in the list, with the names of all cameras readily available. SOS button for quick call. The SOS button was added to the home screen. When you click on the button, a window with a call will appear, and a call will be made to a predefined number. This number can be another internal monitor in the system, or the SIP number of any device. In fact, this is a shortcut button for the number of your choice. To set the desired number, go to the Intercom Settings, General Settings, SOS button. Enter the desired number in the format. The internal number should be entered in the format building, hyphen, unit, hyphen, floor, room. And if you need to enter the number in the SIP format, use the format SIP Earl, SIP semicolon Earl. For example, the choice of the location for the weather widget, intercom settings, general settings, and weather widget. The preciseness of determining a locality by IP address is quite high, but not always accurate. Therefore, you can set the exact point and view the current weather in that place on the home screen. Quick access to notifications. There is also a possibility of quick access to the sections such as alarm, missed calls, messages, and concierge SMS from the home screen. Do not disturb mode. We have added the do not disturb mode, which allows setting the time period when the monitor will be silent. To set the time of the silent mode, go to intercom settings, general settings, and select the time mode. First, activate this mode, and then specify the time of its operation. If somebody calls you at this time, the monitor will activate and display the video from the outdoor panel, but everything will work in the silent mode. A new button to open an additional panel relay and the ability to specify the names and signs of opening the relay. Intercom settings, VoIP settings, DTMF line. It is now possible to activate the second button to open the lock. To do this, just switch the slider. The second button makes it possible to open another lock. For example, it can be a gate or a lock on the additional door in the vestibule lobby. We also added the opportunity to give a name for each button for your convenience. In the field to key name, you can specify the DTMF code for opening the second lock. Ability to select a background image. In this version of the firmware, we added the function to change the background image on the home screen. To change it, go to Intercom Settings, General Settings, and in the Wallpapers item, click on Choose a Wallpaper from the list. Here you can choose one of the suggested wallpapers. You can also set any of your own images for the background. This can be done in the same section by clicking on the Select Wallpaper from Gallery. The desired image should be stored on the SD card in JPEG format. The function of the call termination after opening the lock. Previously, when a visitor called from the outdoor panel, you had to click on the reply button, communicate with him, then press the open lock button and click the end button. Now, you can activate the option of ending the call after opening the lock. When a visitor calls, you can talk to him, press the open lock button, and then after three seconds, the call will stop automatically. The tour and quad splitter modes for the standby screen. Now in the standby mode, you can display the image from the cameras of the outdoor panels or IP cameras in the tour or quad splitter mode. 
To activate these modes, go to Intercom Settings, Service Settings, and activate the IP camera in standby mode. Then, in the Mode item, select the operating mode and press OK to apply. The Tour mode displays images from several cameras in turn. The camera changes after a specified number of seconds. The Quad Splitter mode is the simultaneous display of the images from four cameras. The ability to add up to 16 IP cameras via a graphical monitor interface. Now, through the graphical interface of the monitor, you can add up to 16 IP cameras. To add cameras, click on one IP camera name and type its name and RTSB Earl. Updated view of the concierge text messages. If you receive a message from concierge, it will be displayed at the home screen. Thus, you know if you have any unviewed messages from concierge. When you click this menu item, the section with all messages will open. New call list. We also changed the call list a little. Now, it is more convenient to scroll the call list. And you can do the following with records entries. By default, the missed call is indicated by a red line. When you clicked on it, the call status changes be viewed and the line color becomes white. Now you can click highlight the call by clicking on the same line again. The color will change to green and you can call back to the device from which the call was made, save the caller's photo to the SD memory card, or delete the highlighted record entry from the memory. So that's all, and we hope our review was useful to you. See you next time.